morning my dear students this is s nagras i am studying 10th class i am coming from aptwr school komarada vijayanagaram district okay my dear friends now i want to show you some pictures see these are the pictures it is a picture one see what is this what is this yes it is a railway station and what do you observe in this picture yes probably the train may come see this another picture this is a second picture what are these yes these are dark black color clouds and what do you observe in this picture yes probably the train may come okay my dear my dear friends now we are going to learn about now we are going to learn about probability chappal sir now we are going to learn about probability probability is knowingly or unknowingly we are use in our daily life probabilities are divided into two types one is experimental and another one is theoretical now we are going to learn about theoretical theoretical means the probability is set to be the chances of happening or not happening of an event see it is the theoretical probability probability is set to be the chance of happening or not happening of an event this probability is another meaning is probability is likely to be occur but not certain this is the another meaning of probability okay my dear friends before learning probability we have to learn some basic concepts now our lesson is probability our lesson is probability before learning probability we have to learn some basic concepts some basic concepts first basic concept is trial first basic concept is trial trial means when we are tossing a coin it is a one trial while we are rolling a die it is a one trial these are all called trials see this coin it is a coin this this coins main role is in batting when we are going to play cricket that time we are tossing this co this coin decides this coin decides which team get batting first and which team get bowling first it is the main role of this coin see it is a die see it is a die it is used for playing games like ludo and vaikuntapalli astachamma etc etc games it is the main role of this dice okay my dear friends now we are going to learn about outcome second one is second basic concept is outcome outcome means when we are when we are tossing a coin we get getting a head is one outcome while we are rolling a die getting a number 6 is another it is called one outcome these are all called outcomes 
Okay, my dear friends. Now we are going to learn about random experiment. Third one is random experiment. Third one is random experiment. It is main important in our prob in our lesson. Random experiment means see, it is a coin. See, it is a coin. This is heads and it is tails. See, this three line spot is heads and another side is tails. See, this coin has two possible outcomes. While we are tossing a coin, do you know? what is the outcome yes we don't know because the coin has two possible outcomes one is heads and another one is tails while we are tossing a coin either head may come or either tail may come it is a random experiment see it is a die see it is a die this dice have six faces see one and 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. These are all called possible outcomes. This dice have 6 possible outcomes. Because, why? Because this dice have 6 faces. That is why this dice have 6 possible outcomes. While we are rolling a die, do you know what is the outcome? Yes, we do not know because the coin have 6 possible outcomes while we are rolling a die either 1 may come or 2 may come or 3 may come or 4 may come or 5 may come and 6 may come. These are all outcomes while we are rolling a die what is the outcome we do not know. It is the random experiment. See my dear friends, now I show you one picture. See. Do you know who is he? Yes, he is Pierre Simon Laplace. He is Pierre Simon Laplace. Pierre Simon Laplace was an eminent French astronomer and mathematician. He belongs to 18th century. The definition of probability was given by Pierre Simon Laplace in 1795. This the definition is probability of an event that equal to number of uh, number of favorable outcomes of an event by number of all possible outcomes of the event. This formula was given by Pierre Simon Laplace. See, it is a it, this formula was given by Paris Simon Laplace. That formula is probability of an event equal to number of favorable outcomes of an event by number of all possible outcomes of the event. It is the formula. Okay, friends. Now we are going to learn about event. Event means tossing a coin, get a head. It is one event. And rolling a die, getting a number 6. It is one event. While tossing a coin, getting a head is one event. Or getting a tail is another event. While rolling a die, Getting a number 6 is one event or getting a number 5 is another event. These are all called events. See, event, event is an outcome or set of outcomes satisfying given conditions. For example, first one is tossing a coin, getting a head is one event. And second example is rolling a die getting a number 6 is another event. See third example is picking a card from deck of cards. 
it is one event these are all called events ok my dear friends now we are going to learn about sample space sample space means see sample space the, uh, the set of possible outcomes is called the sample space see it is a die see it is a die while we are rolling a die see this dice have six possible outcomes we know that this dice have six possible outcomes here sample space is called set of all possible outcomes of outcomes is called is called the sample space is called the sample space here this is, it is a die this this die have six possible outcomes we know the meaning of sample space set of all possible outcomes of an event here all possible outcomes are six that is first of all fourth one is sample space fourth one is sample space this sample space denoted by s sample space denoted by s sample space means the set of all possible outcomes of the event here all possible outcomes are 6 so sample space equal to set of 1 may come or 2 may come or 3 may come or 4 may come or 5 may come and 6 may come these are all possible outcomes that is why sample space equal to set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 these are all called possible outcomes here see this picture it is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 these are all called possible outcomes while we are tossing a coin see this coin see this coin how many faces this coin has yes this coin has two faces these two consists one is heads and another one is tails see it is a tail and it is heads these are called sample space we know the meaning of sample space all possible outcomes of the event here possible outcomes are two here tossing a coin tossing a coin sample space equal to set of heads and tails because we are tossing a coin either head may come or tail may come it, these are the possible outcomes while we are rolling a die the sample space is set of 1 2 3 4 5 6 and we are tossing a coin in the sample space is sample space equal to set of heads and tails these are all called sample space come my dear students now we are going to learn about complement elementary event elementary event means see fifth one is fifth one is elementary event see i take one ball and i put one pink ball and one orange ball and one green ball see this ball it is a ball this ball consists three balls those are called one is pink and second one is green and third one is orange these are all called so so we are while we are 
picking a green ball in this bowl picking a green ball in this bowl it comes single time only and while we are picking a pink ball in this bowl it is also come comes single time only and while we are picking a orange ball in this bowl it is also comes single time only these are all called elementary events elementary events a single outcome of the event here all are called single outcomes that's why it is called elementary event okay students now we are going to learn about compound event now we are going to learn about compound event compound event means first i take one ball and i put two pink balls and two orange balls and one green ball see this ball this ball consists five balls those are called two is pink and two is orange and one is green while we are picking a pink ball here from the bowl we are picking a pink ball from the bowl see we are picking this and it comes again because this bowl contains two pink balls that's why the pink balls are coming two times and and we are picking a picking a orange ball from the bowl see this it, we are picking a orange ball from the bowl and it is again comes out because this this these are also two in this bowl and these are all called compound events compound events means more than single outcome of an event see this bowl this bowl consists five balls those are called two is pink and two is orange and one is green here pink balls are two and orange balls are two that's why it is a it comes more than single single time that's why it, these are these are called compound event come okay, my dear friends now we are going to learn about event and sample space see event and sample space this is a event and this is a sample space while tossing a coin getting head is event and its sample space is set of heads and tails because the coin has two possible outcomes sample space means total number of possible outcomes of an event here the coin has total number of possible outcomes are set of heads and tails while we are tossing a coin either head may come or either tail may come that's why it's sam this tossing a coin sample space is set of heads and tails it is a event and it is a sample space while rolling a die getting a number 6 each event and its sample space is set of one may come or two may come three may come four may come or five may come and six may comes because the the dice have six possible outcomes see it is a die this dice have six possible outcomes it is one and it is two and three and four four and 5 and 6 these are all called possible outcomes while rolling a die getting a number 6 is event and its sample space is set of 1 may come or 2 may come or 3 may come or 4 may come or 5 may come and 6 may come these are called differences between event and sample space come okay, my dear students now we are going to learn about playing cards 
and their probabilities. See, see, these are all called playing cards. These are called deck of cards. See, these are called deck of cards. This deck of cards have four suits, and each suit consists thirteen cards, and they are called. See. These are the four shoots, and it is a one shoot, and it is a second shoot. See, it is a one shoot, and it is a second shoot, and it is a third shoot, and it is a fourth shoot. These are all called. Shoot in deck of cards, and each shoot consists thirteen cards. See this. First one is os, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king. These are our call thirteen cards in each shoot. This total number of cards is 52, and this 52 cards have four suits, and each suit consists 13 cards. See, playing cards and their probabilities. A deck of playing cards consists of 52 cards. See, these are the deck of cards. These cards consist 52, 52 cards, and see. Which are divided into four suits. These are these are four suits. See, these are four suits. See, these are four suits in this deck of cards. And four four suits and of thirteen cards. See, each suit consists thirteen cards. One, as two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king. These are all called suits, and each suit can consist thirteen cards. They are called thirteen black spades. Thirteen cards spades. The those are called black in color. See, these are called spades. These are called spades. See, and thirteen red hearts. These are called. See, these are called red hearts. These are called red hearts, and thirteen cards. Thirteen black color clubs. See, these are clubs. See this. These are clubs, and. Fourth one is red color diamonds, and these also thirteen cards. See, these are the diamonds. These are the diamonds. It is a one shoot, and these are all called. These are all called shoots, and this shoot, each shoot consists thirteen cards. Come, my dear friends. Now we are going to learn about event and complementary event. Event and complementary event. See, these are all called events, and these are all called complementary events. While tossing a coin, getting a head, is event, and not getting a head is complementary event. While drawing a card to get us is event, and not not be an us. These are. It is a complementary event. These are all called events, and these are all called complementary events. It is the difference between event and complementary event. Okay, my dear. Okay, my dear friends. Now we are going to learn about sure event. Sure event means first I take one ball. I take one ball, and 
I put six pink balls here. One, two, three, four, five, six. See this ball? This ball consists six balls. Those are all called pink in color. Those are all called pink in color. Now, my event is picking a now my event is picking a pink ball from the ball it is my event see this it is a ball this ball consists six balls those are all called pink in color and also my event is picking a pink ball from the bowl here my event is picking a pink ball from the bowl and also this ball consists six balls those are those are all called pink balls that's why we know the definition of probability we know the definition of probability My event is picking a pink ball from the bowl. We know the definition of probability. Definition of probability is equal to number of number of favorable number of favorable outcomes of an event by number of all possible outcomes of the event see this formula it is the probability formula probability of an event equal to number of favorable outcomes of an event by number of all possible outcomes of the event it is the formula here my event is picking a pink ball from the ball see this ball this ball consists six balls those are all called pink balls my event also picking a pink ball from the ball here total number of possible outcomes is equal to 6 because why because this ball consists 6 balls only that's why possible outcomes are called 6 and my event is picking a pink ball from the ball here this ball consists all are pink balls that's why my it is a, this favorable outcome also 6 6 by 6 that equal to one so probability of sure event is one probability of
probability of sure event is 1. See this chart, sure event the sample space of a random experiment is called sure or certain event. Here probability of sure event is 1. See this baker, this baker contains 6 balls, those are all called pink in color and here my event is Hello? Hello friend. Ah. I am K. Sitaram, April Double School. Ah, okay, sir. What is your doubt? Upper failure room. I have a small doubt. Ah, see? Please explain to my doubt. Okay, sir. What is the main uses of probability in our daily life? Probability of in our daily life US is suppose we are tossing a coin. Uh, we are tossing a coin, okay. we do not know what is the outcome, it is, it is says to probability, we do, suppose we are tossing a coin, getting a head is event, it is also says probability. When we are going to play uh, 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 Ludo and uh, etc., etc. games, that time we are using dice, when we are roll it, we do not know what is the outcome, that is also says probability, these are the uses of probability in our daily life, ok sir, ok sir. See this backer, this backer contains 6 balls, those are all called green in color. Now my event is picking a, now my event is. Picking a green ball from the picking a green ball from the bowl. See this backer. See this ball. This ball consists six balls. Those are all called green in color. And my event is picking a green ball from the bowl. Here this, this bowl consists all are green balls, that is why we know the definition of probability. Definition of probability is number of favorable outcomes of an event by number of all possible outcomes of an of the event. Here all possible outcomes are called picking a green ball from the ball, picking a green ball from the ball, we know the definition of probability number of favorable outcomes of an event by number of all possible outcomes of an event. See this ball, here all possible outcomes are 6, all possible outcomes are called 6 because this ball consists 6 balls only, that is why number of all possible outcomes are called 6 and here here event is picking a green ball from the bowl here event is picking a green ball from the bowl this this ball consists all are green ball those are called 6 in balls that's why this event is 6 by 6 that equal to 1 every probability of sure event equal to 1. Hello sir. Hello sir. Why My you? name is Srinivas Kalyan. Okay. So. Hello sir. Okay sir. Chapman. I have one doubt. Sir, what is the doubt? I have one doubt. Say. What is the definition of probability? Definition of probability is number of favorable outcomes of an event by number of all possible outcomes of an of the event. Okay, okay sir. sir. This formula was given by Pierre Simon Laplace. Okay, sir. Okay. See, probability of sure event is 1. 
Okay, my dear friends, now we are going to learn about impossible event. Now we are going to learn about impossible event. Now I take one ball and I put one pink ball and one orange ball and one green ball. See this ball, this ball consists three balls, those are called one is orange and one is pink and third one is green ball. Now my event is Now my event is event is picking picking a red ball from the see this this ball consists three balls, sir. Hello, sir. Sir. Hello. Hello, sir. Hi, friend. Okay, okay, sir. What's your Hi, about? friend. My name is Tishan Chan. Okay, sir. I am. Same, same, sir. What is your doubt? Hello. Okay. Okay, sir. See this ball. This ball consists three balls. Those are called one is green and second one is pink. Third one is orange. See here my event is picking a red ball from the bowl. See this ball. Is there any red ball here? See this ball. Is there any red ball here? Yes, there is no red ball here because my event is picking a red ball from the bowl. There is no red ball here. That is why here we know the definition of probability number of favorable outcomes of an event by number of all possible outcomes of the event. Here total number of possible outcomes are called 3 because this ball consists 3 balls only that is why total number of possible outcomes are called 3 and here event is picking a red ball from the ball there is no red ball that is why here favorable outcome is 0 0 by 3 that equal to 0. Here, probability of impossible event is 0. Probability of impossible event is 0. Okay, my dear friends, see this chart, impossible event, an event which will not occur on any account is called an impossible event. Hello, Hello sir. Hello. Hello. Madam, what is your doubt, madam? Hello. This is Sushil Kumari. Okay. Okay. What's your doubt, madam? My question is, what is the? Madam, say loudly. No? We, we don't understand your voice. What is the difference between event and complementary event? You want difference between event and complementary event. Event and complementary event means, suppose it is a coin. See, it is a coin. It is heads and another side is tails. 
while tossing a coin getting a head is even and its complementary event is not getting a head it is a complementary event because the complementary event means happening of an event or not happening of an event that's why here happening of an event is getting a head not happening of an event is not getting a head it is the difference between complementary event and event okay madam are you clear for your doubt okay here see this ball this ball consists three balls one is green and one is blue and third one is red here this ball consists three balls those are called one is green and second one is blue and third one is red here my event is event is here my event is picking a yellow ball from the bowl see this ball this ball consists three balls those are called one is green green and second one is blue third one is red now my event is picking a yellow ball from the bowl see this ball is there any yellow ball here no there is no yellow ball here but my event is picking a yellow ball from the bowl so there is no yellow ball here that's why we know the definition of probability number of favorable outcomes of the event by number of all possible outcomes of the event here picking equal to number of all possible outcomes are three because this ball contains three balls that's why number of all possible outcomes are 3 here my event is picking a yellow ball from the bowl but there is no yellow ball here that's why favorable outcome is 0 0 by 3 that equal to 0 probability of probability of impossible event probability of impossible event is zero okay my dear friends now we are see this chart event is denoted by e complementary event is denoted by e bar sum of all complementary event is 1 here probability of an event plus probability of a complementary event that equal to 1 and see the second sort probability of sure event is 1 probability of sure event is 1 and probability of impossible event is 0 and probability of an event pe lies between 0 and 1 here 0 less than or equal to probability of an event or uh, less than or equal to 1 here probability of an event lies between 0 and 1 probability of an event lies between the 0 and 1 see this 0 and 1 okay now we are okay thank you to all